report at work. Science says it's a positive thing. Did you recently hear someone enthusiastically talking about his work? There are people who feel exalted by his profession, give him the job, and seem to love what he does. And while he explains to you how exciting his work is, you may find yourself thinking, wow, I would like to feel the same passion for what I do. Sometimes, when we listen to enthusiastic people about their work, our minds involuntarily think about the negative aspects of ours. We might find ourselves giving weight to our lean periods, or even thinking back to periods of the career in which we were much more full of passion, but then the years have passed and the enthusiasm has dissolved. In the end, it is not strange to find yourself convinced that your work is, after all, a boring thing. Of course, boring is not a word that no one would like to use to describe their profession. But let's face reality, boredom is something that happens. Indeed, a recent article published in Psychology Today shares research showing that, between 30% and 90% of adult Americans are bored in their daily lives, as are 91-98% to of young people. It is a common aspect of work and life. And, horrible as it may turn out to be, it's a nice situation to be in at least momentarily, if we know how to handle it properly. To be honest, researchers today study the importance of boredom in our daily lives and in our careers. In the absence of boredom, a person would be trapped in unsatisfactory states of affairs and would lose useful experiences on an emotional, cognitive, and social level. Boredom is a wake-up call that tells us that we are not doing what we would like to do, and also a push that leads us towards our goals and projects, wrote Andreas Elpidera, professor of philosophy at the University of Louisville. In essence, Elpidera argues that boredom is a warning that says we sat on our laurels and urges us to create the basis for changes. This too proved to be true. In our travels, during talks with leaders, and in our research, we have heard thousands of people enthusiastic about their work. And if we often ask where this motivation comes from, it is rare that we are told, I was bored. But often the answers are synonymous with boredom, things like, I was frustrated by the situation I was in, I realized that things didn't move. Here are some ways we've seen a bored person overcome his boredom and get great results. Accept the feeling. We all know what boredom is, and our natural reaction is to minimize it by making us busy or distracting. But we should not, in fact, we should take a step back, think about why you feel bored. What is wrong with your work? Don't deny your mood by avoiding it, use it as a flywheel to understand what the problem is. If necessary, take a vacation to reflect. Think of others too. A preponderant part of boredom is a sense of selfishness. It's normal, when we get bored, we think only of our condition. But try to change the perspective on those around you, think about how your work, or the things you do, could affect the lives of others. Our research shows that 88% of the winning projects are born with the question, what can I do that has a positive impact on others? Raise the bar. Psychologists say that monotony is the most common cause of boredom, we often try to fight it by looking for external stimuli, we think we need a new job, a promotion, someone who inspires us or makes us feel appreciated. But the truth is that the simplest cure is our internal stimuli, challenging us to get better results, giving us goals that seemed out of reach. Ironically, when we do we get the external motivation we seek. Experience the results firsthand. After completing the three previous steps, it is important to realize the impact of what we do. Think about the recipients of your work, who may be clients, colleagues, or a specific group, you may never realize what you've done if you don't touch it. Indeed, research shows that those who go to see how their work is received are up to 17 times more passionate. Repeat until you are bored again. It will seem like a cliché, but when we talk about boredom we have to deal with the fact that we will always find it on our backs, and not only is it okay, but it can also be a positive factor. Once again we will know when it is time to initiate change, seek progress, and discover our next challenge or rewarding venture. Feeling bored is not nice, but if boredom did not exist we would live in a world that was all the same, immobile, and tedious. Which is certainly not a better prospect. Feeling bored is not nice, but if boredom did not exist we would live in a world that was all the same, immobile, and tedious. Which is certainly not a better prospect.